To what extent is water capable of picking up information? What does it perceive? And how does it remember it over time? The Aerospace Institute in Stuttgart has discovered a relatively simple way of making the structure of a drop of water visible. The researchers have had their efforts rewarded by insights into a very beautiful world. Each drop has a face of its own, unmistakable and unique. Why are the individual drops so different from one another? We got a lot of people to come to a lecture hall here at the Institute, gave them all the same water, had them make drops at exactly the same time, collected all the drops and then discovered that each individual produced different images from the same water. And here you can see the results. There on the right you can see that the images of the individual students are different, but those made by a given student are all quite similar. This is the work of the first experimenter, this one here from the second, this from the third, and this from the fourth. Individually, they can quite easily be reproduced, but you would never have thought that they were all from the same water, because when you compare the images from the different people, you see some big differences. Then we undertook experiments to find out whether things changed when we put something into the water. A real flower was placed in the water. A while later, we took a drop of water, and here you can see one of the pictures. And you can see it in this picture. It's the typical image you get when you put a flower into water. You could recognize the flower in every single drop in this glass, of course. That can be reproduced and has significance. And if you were to put a different flower in here, for example, a sweet William flower, then all the drops of this water would look like sweet William. The statement that water has a memory practically changes our whole way of looking at the world, of course. Let's travel down the Rhine in the figurative sense. The water is flowing down the Rhine, picking up information everywhere it goes. So the water has more information at the mouth of the Rhine than it had at the source. And the Dutch, living at the mouth, when they drink that water, they're also drinking all that information. Thus, the world's oceans would no longer be something that separates us, but instead a giant storehouse of information, and the rain would perhaps be a data medium carrying information to the world.